Boston on Tuesday, January 27th. Feel the thrill of all your favorite superstars live in action just two days after WWE Royal Rumble. Don't miss John Cena, Randy Orton, Dean Ambrose, and Roman Reigns battle Seth Rollins, Kane, The Big Show, and Bray Wyatt in an eight-man tag team match. It's WWE SmackDown live Tuesday, January 27th. Tickets are available. You already know Kowloon Restaurant, established in 1950 and spanning four generations, serves a multi-Asian menu. Did you also know that Kowloon Restaurant is New England's premier Asian dining and entertainment complex, serving Cantonese, Szechuan, Thai, and Polynesian cuisine? And did you know that Kowloon Restaurant is also the home of the finest Japanese sushi? If you haven't dined at Kowloon Restaurant lately, then you simply haven't dined at Kowloon. Kowloon Restaurant, Route 1 North in Saugus. This is Shelton R Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans, welcome to another installment of the History of Wrestling in New England. I'm Dan Marotti of the Boston Wrestling Club and the Millennium Wrestling Federation. Before we take a look back at the great history of professional wrestling here in the Northeast, I want you to keep in mind that, as always, we produce these videos absolutely free for fans around the corner and around the world to enjoy and learn from. We have big plans for 2015, from live wrestling events and videos to cutting-edge news and history. Last year alone, Carlito, Al Snow, Vader... Demolition, WWE Hall of Famer, Tony Atlas. We're all here in MWF Studios. We were involved in fans being able to meet Hulk Hogan and Rob Van Dam and tons more planned for the new year. In order to make all of our plans a reality, we need as much fan support as humanly possible. You can help the cause by simply hitting the like, share, and subscribe buttons on YouTube. Even more important, to have these superstar guests, autograph sessions, and even more episodes of Wrestling Insiders, with John Cena Sr. Donate what you can to the cause. Let's be the PBS of professional wrestling. Fans from anywhere in the world can donate any amount, 50 cents, a dollar, $5, $10, to our PayPal email address, bw at bostonwrestling.com. And there's a new donate button on the front page of the bostonwrestling.com super site. Every dollar raised goes into our 2015 endeavors for your enjoyment. Today we flash back to January the 17th, 2000. The World Wrestling Federation's Monday Night Raw was live at the New Haven Coliseum in New Haven, Connecticut. This was the final Raw before the Royal Rumble 2000, just six days later at Madison Square Garden. I can tell you firsthand as I was at this event in person, wow, what a cold, 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 cold night. It was brutal, but a great show. Before Raw began on the Jacked program... Hardcore and Crash Holly defeated the Mean Street Posse. Too Cool defeated Guy and Ty. Viscera and Gangrel battled to a no contest. And the British Bulldog Davy Boy Smith defeated Kevin Landry. On to Rara's War, Test won the WWF Hardcore Championship from the Big Boss Man. Kurt Angle defeated Steve Blackman. The Acolytes defeated WWF World Heavyweight Champion Triple H and X-Pac via disqualification when the New Age Outlaws interfered. The Acolytes and the Outlaws went at it at the Rumble itself. Jeff Hardy defeated Bubba Ray Dudley. And again, it was tables galore. Again, that Sunday, the Hardy Boys and the Dudleys collided at MSG. Rikishi defeated the World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Champion Chris Jericho via disqualification with a lot of interference from China, the Hollies, even Too Cool got involved. Kane pinned Albert. And in the finale, the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions, the New Age Outlaws defeated The Rock and The Big Show. John Cena Sr. is traveling the globe, so I'll take his spot here. Get ready for WWE's return to the Northeast live beginning Friday, January the 23rd at the Sun National Bank Center in Trenton, New Jersey, as well as the Izod Center in East Rutherford, New Jersey, Saturday, January the 24th. These loaded events feature John Cena, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, Seth Rollins, and more. 
Sunday, January the 25th, it's the 2015 edition of the Royal Rumble. It'll be the final chapter of the John Cena and Brock Lesnar saga for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship along with the 30-man over-the-top rope Royal Rumble. The winner gets a first-class ticket to the main event of WrestleMania 31. Monday, January 26th, Raw emanates from the XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut, with all of the top superstars slated to appear, even a rare appearance by Brock Lesnar. Tuesday, January 27th, SmackDown is back at the TD Garden right here in Boston. Big bonus main event for the fans after the cameras stop rolling. It'll be an eight-man war with John Cena, Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose teaming up to face Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, Kane, and the Big Show in an exclusive match for the fans here in Boston. Friday, February the 28th, the immortal Hulk Hogan leads an all-star lineup into the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York, New York. Friday night, March the 6th, WWE is back at the Blue Cross Arena in Rochester, New York with John Cena, Seth Rollins, Kane, Ryback, Rusev, and more. Saturday, March the 7th, the WWE Road to WrestleMania Tour continues into the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. For complete ticket and event information, visit WWE.com. Don't miss WWE when it comes to your... 30 years in the making. Iconic moments take on a new life in stunning images, behind-the-scenes stories, and exclusive interviews. One of the most incredible nights I've ever had. On that night, there's nobody else I could have done it with but Scott Hall. Welcome to WrestleMania! 30 years of WrestleMania. Available September 15th. Pre-order now online or wherever books are sold.